Warning! Graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like pest control videos, then sit back and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. I've gone out on my own tonight. My bro's working. I figured it'd be a dark night looking at the moon. As you can see, it's up. The darkness is starting to fall. I'm getting ready to target these hedgerows. Seen a lot of activity here in previous weeks. I'm thinking that it might be a good night tonight. As per usual, it gets dark in the sheds long before it gets dark outside. And the rats tend to move around here first. So it's an obvious place to start the campaign. You see them scurrying around. Squabbling. And doing whatever rats do. That was the first effort. Shot looks good. I could only see its head, that's all I could hit. As per usual, I always watch. I can see the tail flick in a little bit. And looks immediately to be a good headshot. And it flips into view. Which is again just nerves. I'm intrigued to see where I hit it, so I go and investigate. There we are. Looking down on it from above. Quite clearly see hit it well enough. I can hear the rats squabbling in the hedgerow down the side of the shed to take a look. I can see them running around and when I look back in the shed I see this fella sat bulges like on a feeder but not for long. I hit him a nice headshot there. Drop him to the ground. And there he is. Dead on the ground in the little rut where I couldn't see him. So then I go for a wonder. I spot this one. It's in the grass. I'm estimating where its head is. I can see on this now. I've completely misjudged it and missed it. This one runs for cover. When I look back, I do believe that's the same rat's come back again. I didn't miss him the second time. There he is. A little kick in the nettles. I'll have a quick look. And there he is. I think there might be an exit wound on the back of his neck there. This is an interesting bit. I shoot this one, having a drink under the shed. Nothing untoward there. I can see in the reflection of that pedal more movement above. I see another rat's inquisitiveness. It's drawing it down to its friend that's just been shot. So I can see it reflected in the puddle. So I sit and wait. I might have missed this before, but for the puddle. And here he comes, and there he goes. Nice one, two there. These are quite small rats. Just just goes to show their breeding. It's a good thrash around in the puddle. I'm happy with the shot. Quick look around. Nothing else. Only about 30 seconds later, I see another set of eyes reflected in the puddle. You can see it at the bottom of the cross there. I know that curiosity is going to get the better of this fella. So they're going to come and see what's happened to his mates when he's coming for a drink. But he's going to come down and stick his head out. Just got to be patient. There we are. Right through the side of the head. I'll take a second shot. I can see now that I wasn't actually aiming at him, I was aiming at a little dot of ground. It managed to kick forward in a way that made me think it was still alive. And yet another rat comes down. I can see the reflection. Very cautious. Unfortunately for him, I've got plenty more pellets. This one doesn't look at caught it very well. That was a rubbish second shot. That's better. That 
that's pretty much the end of him. So I go over to inspect and fetch him out. And the puddle's not the nicest, it's pretty muddy. They stirred it up a bit by kicking about. But four dead rats, it's a good result. Especially in the time frame. You can see the puddle they were kicking around in. Not very nice. Not quite sure they can manage to drink that. But then again, they are rats. I go for a wander around. I'm greeted by this site. And I really don't know which one to put the crosshairs on first. Never normally look in this area. It seems to be a bit of a hot spot. Just got to get one to sit still long enough. They're on fair galloping about. I've hit that one through the neck, I do believe. It's managed to kick its way through there. A quick scan back and forward. And I go to investigate. And he's wedged himself in the grass. Not too worried about that. He didn't escape. So I go back down towards the shed, look down the side, and then these pile of pallets is another rat. That one's dead down in the bushes now. Another one closer to me. Give it a hold over. It's too close to even focus on. The shot's good. That's the end of him. I'm happy with that. There he is, just inside the fence, just making him out in the middle there. Camera's not that brilliant. I'll take a walk back to that other position. And catch this one out on his own. All looks good on that shot. Quick scan of bait. Must be some more. There we are. If you wait long enough, you'll see one. This one stuck his head in the ground. I'm not really sure where I'm aiming to shoot it. I guesstimated it and hit the dirt in front. Still doesn't know what happened. I'm hoping for a second attempt. It decides to gallop off. The best decision it made all night. This is all I managed to retrieve from my night session. I did leave early. I'm surprised I didn't get more, but never mind. This is our new rabbit permission. See the rabbit there? The bro's filming. It's only a recce. It's quite a long shot, this. I misjudged the shot. This is a miss. Straight over the top of his head. Here's another one in the corner of the field. I drop him clean. I can see he's not moving. So I wander up there. Bro approaches me. He quick poke me sticks. And there he is, dead on the ground. Happy with that one. I'm not actually looking to shoot any of these. They're far out of range. I'm just looking to see how many there are. Even though it looks like I might be trying to give it some holdover. Which I'm not. Right on the edge of the night vision's view. There seems to be plenty of them. We're going to wrap up just after this. I just thought I'd film it for interest's sake. Just to see what the scale of the problem is. And one of them runs out in front of me. I shoot him after knocking off the record button, unfortunately. So I end the night on two. It's not bad for a recce. That's with the Super 10 177. And there they are. Two more for the scouts. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.